more good than harm. They can save animals from extinction, conduct studies that help further our understanding of them, and help to educate our population about the animal kingdom, which many urban dwellers don't get the chance to experience and enjoy. Zoos work with many organizations to help endangered animals, and work with breeding, breeding groups to help sustain their numbers. They also make observations about animal behavior and their lifestyles to help give animals that live in zoos the most natural way of life possible. These animals are treated very safely in an environment where they can be monitored and kept safe. In fact, you can get a very rich learning experience when you visit a zoo, and you get to see animals in a way you probably have never seen them before. So there is no reason that Zoos shouldn't be considered more bad than good. According to the St. Louis Zoo, about 21% of the world's mammal species, about 12% of the bird species, and about 33% of all amphibian species are threatened with extinction. And with overhunting, habitat loss, and poaching becoming serious issues, these numbers will likely increase. Zoos can play an important role in bringing back these animals back from those kinds of titles and that kind of endangerment. They can thrive in an environment that is safe from these threats and they are under constant care. So basically nothing can happen to them. They have been at the center of some of the most amazing comebacks in the natural world and certainly will be in the future. For example, between 1982 and 1985, the population of the California condor dropped to only about 25 in the wild. But from efforts put in by San Diego Zoo Global and the California Condor team, they were successful in breeding them, and in 2013, their numbers went up to 435, with over 230 of them living in the wild. That is just truly outstanding. And it takes a long time and a, you know, a tremendous amount of work to get an animal to that kind of a rate of expansion and genetics, so that's pretty good. Also, in the 1970s, there were fewer than 200 golden lion tamarins left in the wild. But Brazil's recovery efforts in the National Zoo, today's, today approximately 1,600 of them now reside in the tropical forest. The urban population of the world has grown rapidly from 746 million in 1980 in 1950 to about 3.9 billion in 2014. And it is estimated to be 6 billion by 2045. And according, according to the UN, and according to the MIT, at least 600 million of these people are in poverty. When you can't afford essentials, it is tough to go on vacations to places where there are rich wildlife populations, like national parks, you know, even like distant countries, distant places, refuges, all of these places. It's pretty tough. And the only way kids have access to nature is when they visit zoos or parks. So without them, these kids wouldn't be able to even experience animals besides, what, cats, dogs, and squirrels. And that, like, to be honest, is truly disappointing. When you can't go out there and experience what the world has to offer, that's really sad. So. Zoos are very good.